Hey guys, it's Mike from Wooly Bugged. It is the first full week of February 2017, and this weekend me and my buddy John are heading up to Erie to do some winter steelhead fishing. I am excited to get back up to Erie because I haven't been up there since October of 2016. I head up there every year for a fall steelhead trip, and you know, the fall run just wasn't what it's been in, in past years. It was very low and clear water conditions. Uh, a lot of the fish that were staged in the lake to run weren't able to do so because of the water conditions. And you know, it really wasn't until November, December, and January that uh, the Erie tributaries started to see some good pushes of fish that allowed for some good steelhead fishing conditions. Um, you know, so we've had some rain here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we've filled the creeks back up. That's great news for the spring. And I really think that, that uh, what it's done is it's created a winter steelhead fishing situation that's probably better than most years. And there's been some great reports coming out of Erie recently. I know in late January and in and, uh, and the past week or so, I've seen some incredible videos posted up on YouTube of guys catching a lot of fish, catching some sizable fish. And, you know, it had me thinking about taking a trip, and I think this weekend is shaping up to be the time to do that because we had a high water event earlier this week. We had a lot of rain up in Erie. The creeks have come up and now they have about three days to drop and you know we're, we're gonna get that, that, that falling water green color condition that you really want to see in Erie. So I want to get up there and see if we can find some fish. Now earlier this week Alex from TCO uh, had posted uh, some pics of a trip he took and prior to that trip he had posted pictures of mock flies that he had tied and when I saw that it kind of just got me thinking about the mop fly and what in the world is this thing all about well uh, it's not that the mop fly is necessarily a new phenomenon but it's had a lot of notoriety recently because the Wall Street Journal posted an article about the mop fly and uh, there were some competitive fly fishermen that had used this fly that won them tournaments and that's why the Wall Street Journal published an article and that's why it's been buzzed about recently is that hey here's this tie you can fly with materials you can get at your local auto parts store and uh, it can win tournaments so I looked into it I did some research uh, I found an Orvis video online for a pattern they called the mop and glow and you know it's real simple materials it's a size uh, 12 to 14 hook, um, yellow and orange antron, and these mop segments. And I went to my local auto parts store, which here in eastern Pennsylvania is like AutoZone or Pep Boys, and you go to the section for washing your car. And it's not even really a mop. These are like kind of like chamois cloths that you would use for drying your car off if you're a car detail enthusiast. So they make ones that slip over your arm and they have ones that are just handheld. And you'll spot them immediately because they have all these little wormy looking segments on them. So I bought one of the handheld ones. It was very cheap. It was only like $2.50. And out of one of these things, you can cut probably 30 or 40 of these segments off here. So I have all these segments now that that I can be tying mop flies for the next two years, you know. So uh, they come in different colors. You can get them in uh, fluorescent green, gray. Uh, I've heard of blue and orange and white. But, um, you know, head down to your local auto parts store, pick one of those up. Like I said, you got your uh, yellow and orange antron. And then you tie them on a 14 hook and you end up with a fly that, um, you know, looks like this. Uh, I'm not going to tie it on camera today because the GoPro is not good for tying, but um, it's a very simple pattern. It looks like it would have good movement underwater, and I can see why fish would probably go after it, especially if they haven't seen anything like this before. So I tied up a few of these to take up to Erie with me. Uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see if they work, if they're uh, legit and, and have the street credibility. Uh, I guess we'll find out, but when I get up there, I'm going to fish 16 mile first thing early Saturday morning I'm going to turn my GoPro on and I'm going to show you the first couple casts with the mop fly and we'll see if it's all it's cracked up to be so check it out